flowers take enormous energy for a plant to produce. They may be beautiful, but that beauty is, in one sense, a burden. So why have flowers at all? Flowers are managing the reproductive biology for the plant. To illustrate the basic sex life of a flower, we can use a lily. There are, of course, the recognizable petals, but at its center are the real stars. The stamens are the male parts that produce pollen. The pistil is the female part that contains the ovaries. Plants have elaborate strategies to avoid self-pollination, like the female part ripening at a different time than the male pollen. When the pollen from another flower lands on the pistil, usually deposited by a passing insect, a pollen tube grows down, carrying the sperm to the egg, and reproduction takes place, producing seeds inside of a fruit. The pretty flower, therefore, with those recognizable petals and scent, is really just good packaging. Flowering plants were the first advertisers in the world. They put out beautiful petals, colorful patterns. They put out fragrances. And they gave a reward, such as nectar or pollen, for any insect that would come and visit them. And what were they advertising? They were advertising the female parts and the male parts that were hidden within the center of this flower. So if they could attract these mobile pollinators to come and feed in this flower, and then fly to another flower some distance away and repeat this process. They could effectively carry their male genetic material in the pollen grain to another flower. It is believed that there are as many as 400,000 different species of flowering plants, including things as different as roses, wheat, and even apple trees. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I have been wanting to see this. This is Mandragora, made famous in Harry Potter. And here it's already setting fruit. Absolutely fantastic. All flowering plants flower. All flowering plants that flower fruit. The fruit is the new generation. Whether it's an apple, whether it's a pumpkin, whether it's this poisonous berry, that's the point of flowering. It is the renewal of the species, the enhancement of the species as well. This seed possesses that little bit of difference that may allow it to adapt down the road to a different set of circumstances that it might encounter. <laughs> 